Hey everybody, um, it's been a little bit since I've uh, made a video. Um, I'm still doing a lot in Dynamo and, and uh, Python, so I'll I'll try to make a uh, a video um, uh, for for some of those uh, soon. But I wanted to show this tool um, that I just recently found. Uh, I found out about. I mean, it, it's super cool, and I think it's a awesome way to. Um, get into just the data and stuff. Um, it allows you to, tr you know, create these these workflows visually uh, that trans uh, that um, transform the data, uh, allow you to manipulate it and analyze it, and uh, you can drag all sorts of stuff into it. And so I've got it open here, uh, and this is just one video. I'm gonna kind of keep diving into it, uh, trying to learn more, and then I'll try to share what I. Uh, what I've learned and, and just put it on my channel. So this is just the first one. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this because I thought this was so easy. Uh, there's no setup. You download it. The bummer is is it's a 30 day trial. So you download it, you open up the FMA uh, work workbench. And then uh, what you can do, and this is in 2021. And so I found that if so your your Revit files seem to be in that version, um, but I've got a 2021 file, and so you can see there kind of uh, it uh, hovering. But I'm gonna drag it right here, uh, and if you saw that, that was the uh, the Revit um, architectural sample model. You could open that from uh, Revit, and um, I just at the end of it I added FME dot dash test 2021. And then here, um, I get, you can. I haven't dived into these um, too much, but I I know if I press OK, it works, and then it prompts um, uh, with this uh, to allow you to select uh, the different categories. And I think this list depends on like what's in that file. So if there isn't architectural doors, then that category is not going to show up here. Um, if the the file's got a lot, then you'll you'll see a bunch of different categories. Uh, for this one, uh, I'll just select the doors because I have already tested that one, so I know that works. And uh, I'm just going to click OK. And then this little node um, or whatever it's called in this program. Uh, but since probably a lot of you are used to Dynamo, um, for now I'll just call this a node. But uh, you can move it around the canvas, um, just like Dynamo. Uh, up here, if you click Run, it'll prompt you with this, and you can just run it. And then what it's doing is it's reaching into that file and I think pulling out that, um, that information. Um, and it looks like it got uh, some errors. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... Um, but uh, when you select on it, so you can see here, if it's not selected, um, nothing shows up. If I select on it, uh, you'll see you'll see the data, and this is what you would see if you were to, you know, pull this into a SQL database or use the um, I can't remember, but the OBD uh, C whatever it is driver, and you get all that, uh, and you, you you pull out the Revit database. This is what you'll see, and I, that's why I think this is really cool because it doesn't require you to do anything. You download the FME um, tool, you open it, and you drag in the Revit file, and you drop it in there. You, you're good to go. Um, and now you can start to look at data uh, and kind of see what's going on. Up here on this node, there is a drop down that shows you all the different categories um, or properties for the that that particular category, and so you can see what's going on there but this is a good way I think to just see what's happening uh, behind the scenes with um, with Revit or how Revit sees and interacts with these these objects um, but what I thought was really slick and what I kinda got excited about was uh, this um, this 3D visual um, it shows you kinda what's going on in that space and it shows you all those different elements and um, um, so you can see here all the doors uh, and see what's going on there. Uh, there's a few options you have uh, with this, but this is just, as far as I know, it's just a generic um, uh, viewer. Uh, you know, this data doesn't really mean anything from this. From this, um, you know, you can't 
at least um, I haven't been able to select on certain things um, without a uh, a lot of trouble. Um, it's it's kind of difficult navigating it. Um, you can't select on it. It's just it's uh it gives you a little bit of trouble. Um, it's not the same way that you may be used to in uh, in Revit. The cool thing is, is if you do select on it over here in the um, in the uh, uh, the list of data, you can see in there kind of uh, it, it highlighting. And as you saw before, you can select on it this way. It's just a little bit difficult um, navigating it. But that's also my, you know, I haven't been in there very very long, so there's that as well. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this. It's just a, a cool tool. This is uh, here. It is in two D. I'm gonna keep diving into this. I'm gonna try to find uh, maybe some good uh, practical workflows with it. Um, as of now, I've just played around with what you've seen so far. Um, but I'll create some more videos um, and let me know if you have any questions. Lo I'd love to know if you're using this tool. I think I really think this is really powerful. Um, I could see it, uh, especially if you can create like workflows and, uh, of taking the data and, and, and transforming it um, uh, to play with uh, another um, suite um, of um, tools. Uh, I've also heard that it, it helps with, um, I guess if you're working with large sets of data, you can simplify it and trans transform it or manipulate it to pull it out you can analyze it and do many other things so if you're using it i'd love i'd love to you know um uh hear from you you know feel free to to comment below or reach out uh, but anyways thanks a lot for watching um hopefully this was helpful um and i'll see you guys in the next video